If we take a look into a local high school in Fishers, Indiana, we find that one teacher seems to be quite well known. Students all seem to have something to say about this one man. Paul Kennedy. Oh, do I know Paul Kennedy. Paul Kennedy is a man that I do not regret meeting. Paul Kennedy. What, what comes to mind? Paul. <laughs> Paul Kennedy, or as most students refer to him, Mr. Kennedy. He is an English teacher at Fishers High School as well as a coach for the speech and debate team. Over the past few years, his popularity has grown exponentially. I'm here to try and figure out why. Paul Kennedy is just cool. He's really relaxed and laid back as a teacher. He tells lots of jokes. And he doesn't like teachers like that. Well, I guess all Apple guesses are really annoying, but besides that, he's just terrible about so. Oh my gosh, Mr. Kennedy is just like so cool. He's a really good teacher. He teaches ad black and speech and composition, and he taught ninth grade English at one point too. So, what makes him so popular among students? Well, he's basically the coolest teacher ever. He likes cooking, reading, traveling, yard work, running. He ran a marathon, you know. That's fan flipping fantastic. He just does a lot of this stuff. When a man comes into Applied class and tells you that he went over the weekend to just a grill off and make a dirty steak, you know it's a grill master. That's Paul Kennedy. Trust me, I've had Mr. Kennedy for English for three years now. Um, I had him for Honors English 9 in ninth grade, and then sophomore year I had him for speech, and junior year I had him for Applack, so you could say that I've had him a while and I know what he's good at, um, and I know how talented he is. So, but also, he's really been able to lift my spirits, and like one time, like my dog died, and I went to Mr. Kennedy's class feeling really, really down about myself, but then I listened to some of his puns and jokes and heard him talk about English for like an hour and a half, and I, I just felt a lot better. I felt okay. And also, he went to Wabash College, which is a pretty prestigious university, so you could say he's pretty well qualified. Uh, as one of the world's leading Paul Kennedy experts, I've, I pride myself on knowing the ins and outs of everything Paul Kennedy. He's, Paul Kennedy is not a, he's not a person, he, he's, he, uh, he's more of an entity, a way of life, if you will. Paul Kennedy is life. Um, Casey had him as a teacher last year, and some of my friends Lauren and Lynn have him, and I mean, I've just heard such great things about how he teaches. I strongly believe that anyone who has the opportunity to be taught under Mr. Kennedy should because it is a very powerful and rewarding experience. After talking to the students he had in class, I wanted to hear what some kids on the speech team had to say. I have had Mr. Kennedy as a speech coach all four years. He's actually um, the first speech coach I met with. I sat in like Mr. Run's office. He was like, why do you want to do speech? And I was like, I don't know. You're scary. Why would I want to do speech? Um, but he was really cool and like helped me through everything. Plus his wife's really awesome and I like, I like Kara a lot. He's, he's very underrated as a speech coach. He's, he's brilliant because I remember my sophomore year, I hadn't won a meet at all yet. And then the two weeks back to back I decided to work with Mr. Kennedy were first place, first place. So numbers don't lie. So I think Kennedy is very underrated coach. He's very, he's very good at what he does. He has good, he's good knowledge of every little little piece of speech and just <laughs> Paul Kennedy, and it's mind-boggling. I remember working with him on my HI. Up until that point, I'd only been working with Run, and like I was surprised by the difference in coaching style, but it really helped me out. Like he was straight to the point, and I liked that. I appreciated it. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to have Mr. Kennedy as a teacher because I think I would just laugh at everything he says. Not because it's like bad, but just because it's hilarious. Paul Kennedy can almost always be found in his natural habitat known as the Porto Paul. Tyler, our Paul Kennedy historian, tells us a little bit more about the Porto Paul. If you look around the Porto Paul, you can find a lot of interesting facts about him. One of the first artifacts that truly stands out would be his Wabash College flag. Mr. Kennedy marvelously exhibits true pride in his institutions of education. Here's his desk where he diligently grades papers and works to become an outstanding educator. 
His collection of beautifully fabricated t-shirts manifests his involvement at this school and the extracurriculars. When did you first meet him? <clears throat> it was a crisp autumn morn in 2011. Yeah. I think it was at a... Probably at speech. I guess it would have been 2012. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Springmore, excuse me. I think it was like speech state that year. Because I had to come see my brother, as I was not part of the speech team my freshman year. And I met Paul Kennedy. And he was like, hey, this is Mr. Kennedy. And I was like, this guy's all right. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, how could I forget the day? Okay, so, you know, like, I'm walking into school on, like, first day of freshman year, and it's second period, right? And so I walk into class, and Mr. Kennedy's just there, and there's this seating chart, right? And so, I mean, I don't know him in class. I sit down, and, I mean, like, I don't really want to introduce myself to this, because that's weird. And so I just kind of sat down in my seat, and then Mr. Kennedy got up to the front of the class, and he just said, Welcome to Holy Spirit Shine. So, this past summer I had the privilege of, I think everyone needs to experience this, of spending a week living with Paul Kennedy, uh, which will be chronicled in my upcoming book, uh, A Week with Paul. Um, and it is, it was, it was life changing, it just altered everything I know, everything I thought I knew, and just completely flipped the script for me. I, d living with him is bliss, to say the least. And I think everyone needs to experience that feeling at least once in their life. What's your best memory of Mr. Kennedy? Freshman year, Mr. Kennedy went up to the class and he said, guys, this is a very sad day. Three days ago, my cat, Mr. Falafels, ran away. I don't think he's coming back. Best memory of Mr. Kennedy. It's got to be a good one. Um, ah, yes. Uh, we had arrived at um, our hotel in Kansas um, where I spent a week with Paul Kennedy. And me and some other colleagues were trying to come up with uh, a specific word like, that was supposed to sound like, as like a synonym to the word ruckus that someone had used the year prior. And uh, Kennedy, being an English teacher, a brilliant one at that, um, was on the trip. We decided to ask him for some synonyms for the word ruckus. And he decides to, uh, so we're like, Kennedy, we need something. What's another word for ruckus? And Kennedy, in his beautiful Kennedy voice, just first thing he says is he goes, Fufara. And it was the greatest experience of my life. And I, I, I hear, I hear Fufara every day when I wake up and every night when I go to sleep. And that's my fondest memory of Paul J. Kennedy. So, if you could describe Paul Kennedy in one word, what would it be? Funny. And not just funny, like, he's just a funny guy. He's just really sarcastic, and with everything he says. I mean, he is pun funny and sarcastic funny, all wrapped into one. Concise. Mr. Kennedy always has the right word at the tip of his tongue. You know, he just given us a speech about something, and just using general and normal diction, and then all of a sudden he pulls out a word like, jubilee, like, thinks. Mr. Kennedy thinks of you, well, that's you. Mr. Kennedy is the most concise man I've ever met. And I suppose if I wanted to go into vanity, I would say that his beard really impresses me. It's, it's golden gingerness reminds me of, a, of the beauty of a campfire, and just whoosh, and just, yeah, Paul Kennedy. He's, 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 not, he's not just a man, he's an experience. And it's just, yes, you must experience this man, everyone must take the Paul Kennedy experience. Fan fantastic. This guy's alright. Funny. Paul. 
Paul Kennedy is white. Mr. Kennedy is the most concise man I've ever met. There are countless ways to describe this one man, Paul Kennedy. He has accomplished so much already, it's impossible to know what he will do next. Run another marathon? Maybe. Become president? Probably. Rule the world? I wouldn't be surprised. We all look forward to the amazing things he will one day accomplish. We love you, Paul Kennedy. Paul J. Kennedy. I found it, it's Joseph. It's Joseph. Paul Joseph Kennedy. Like the Bible. <laughs> he is the Bible. Oof, <laughs> <laughs>